So in this video, I will break down this article editing style in videos by this person called James. And I found this editing quite interesting. And there are so many different aspects of this that you can use for your own animations. So I'm going to show you the clip. So as you can see right here, this is what he does. But of course, we're going to do it in a slightly different way. But of course, we're going to cover all these different types of article highlighting that you can see right here. So for this, you need to go ahead and download the assets. So I have three articles as images. You can go ahead and download that from the link in the description. So let's go ahead and drag in our fusion composition. And for this one, we're going to keep this at, so go ahead and change the clip duration to three seconds, 14 milliseconds, something like that. And right click and click on open in fusion page. Now you might have noticed that there was some sort of a 3D movement in that preview that we saw, but we're going to do it using the 2D nodes. So for first of all, let's drag in our background. And secondly, let's drag in the first article, connect this right here and connect this with the merge one. Now go over to the background and change the color to white, or you can just use this dropper to change it to the color of this article. But of course that's white, so it won't matter. Now the next thing we need to do is go ahead and drag in this background. Now you can just zoom in and of course you need to change the color from here. So go ahead and change this to one, the red and the green to one. Keep the blue at zero so that we can get this yellow color. And let's go ahead and add in this polygon. Connect this with the background and you can just go ahead and draw this. And make sure by using this modify only, you can also position this. Make sure this is at, on the same line. Now go ahead and change the border width to 0 0.02 and set this to flat. Now you can connect the background with the merge one and this is how it will look. But you need to go over to the merge two that we have right here and go ahead and change the apply mode to darken. And this is how it will look. Now you can simply click on this polygon, press control C then click anywhere else and then press control V and you will get this copy. Connect this with the polygon one and just move this right here. Now you can select this from here and just move it where the text ends. Now, again, you can copy this, paste this right here and connect this again with this polygon. And just like we did before, just move this right here. And this time, let's position this right here. So this is how simple it is to add these sorts of highlights in your images, as you can see right here. Now let's start the animation. The first one, polygon one that we have right here, let's go over to, let's say 20 and create a keyframe at length and then go over to zero and change this to zero. So this is how it will look and then go over to one, then right here at, let's say 40, 38, let's create a keyframe at length again go over to 20, change this to zero. And now over here at 38, let's do the same thing for this length right here. Change this to zero at 38 and then at 45, let's change this to one. So if you play the whole thing, right now this is how it looks. You can go over to spline, make sure selecting, you select all your keyframes right here, like this and press S on the keyboard. And this is our look. All right, so now we need to add that transform, 3D transform that we were talking about. All right, so now for the 3D, what we can do is we can use a transform node and this can be done in a 3D way. But better way would be to use a image plane 3D and then press control space while you have this selected and click select render 3D. Then connect this with the media out. Now using the image plane 3D in the transform, you can just simply use Z. And let's go ahead, create a keyframe at zero. At zero, go over to zero and then create keyframes at X, Y, Z right here, all of them. And then let's go all the way to the end. And using the X, 
let's move this right here. And let's use this Y, move this up a little bit. So here you can see this is the first animation and we have this nice looking 3D motion. So it kind of resembles how we have this right here, as you can see. Of course, I'm going to talk about how we have this effect on top of it, but right now let's just go ahead and create the second one as well, which is this one. So this is going to be very simple. Let's drag in our fusion composition and let's go open in fusion page. And right here, drag in this article and let's also connect this with the, actually let's do the same thing. Let's add this background, connect this with the background and connect this with the media out. Now in the background, you can just use this dropper to make sure the background is also of the same color. And right here, we can just go ahead and use this background and then this polygon. So let's connect this and do the same thing we did before. Increase the border width to 0 0.02. Connect this with the merge one. All right. So now in the border width, in the border style, you can just change this to flat. And in the merge, you can change the apply mode to overlay. So overlay seems fine for me. And of course, you can play around with this color to see which one suits for you. Actually, you can also go with black, but I'm just going to keep this at blue. It doesn't matter if it's blue or not because it's dark at the end. So that's up to you. And I'm just going to slightly change this. So 0 0.0 to 5, the border width. And actually, let's go with 0 0.03. Okay, so 0 0.03 looks good to me. Now we can do the same thing as we did before. Let's unselect this, add in this image plane 3D, connect this, and then add a render 3D node, and then connect it with the media out. So using the image plane 3D, let's once again zoom this in. But this time we're going to change the X like this and increase this even more. Maybe I just 1.8 and then the X will be, let's go with minus 20. And also let's change the Y from here in the translation to minus 0 0.05 and then use the X right here. So right here at zero, create a keyframe at X, and then all the way to the end, just move this right here. Now you can select your polygon and actually I'll go all the way to the end and create a keyframe at length, and then go to the zero keyframe and then change this length to zero. So if you play the whole thing, this is how it will look. But go over to spline and from here you can change Select both the polygon and the image plane 3D and select all these keyframes and hit S on the keyboard. So if you play this, here you will see this is how it will look. So we have this second animation done as well that resembles this, as you can see. Before moving on to the third article animation, I would like to mention Easy Edits. They have this stock website that you can use to download different digital assets for your videos. Now, they offer templates, text effects, and presets that you can use for your videos. So I will link them in the description and you can go ahead and check them out. Now for the third one, the final one, which is this. Let's drag in another fusion composition and right click open in fusion page and drag in the article 3. Now for this we can just simply use the background and connect this right here. In the background let's change the color to white and then increase the size a little bit. So maybe somewhere around 1.3 and then right here in the merge you can just use merge and then go over to zero create a keyframe at center then over here at maybe 20. Let's move this up slightly. And let's go over to spline, select the keyframes and hit S on the keyboard. 
but this time I'm going to move this in a little bit. So something like this. All right, and now let's do our our highlight. So drag in the background, change this to again yellow, and let's drag in our polygon. Connect this right here. And using the polygon, let's just create the highlights. Zero point zero two and flat. Then in the merge, let's change this to darken. And again, just like we did in the first one, just copy this, paste this right here, and then connect this. Move this down. Using the center from here, don't do it in on the screen. It will mess up. So don't do it from there. Just use the center from here. And you can just position this right here. Okay, so from 20 till 40, let's do the first one. And then from 40 till, let's say, 50 or 55, let's do the second one. Okay, perfect. And in the spline, just go ahead and select the polygons and hit S on the keyboard when you select them. All right, so once we have this, go back to the main timeline and from here, just drag in an adjustment clip and go ahead, select this dynamic zoom and click on swap. Then if you play this, this is how it will look. But right here where we have this ending at 2005, right here, maybe somewhere around here, just go ahead and cut your fusion composition. You can use the blade mode or you can just press control and then the backslash so right here the one that we have right here the fusion composition that's left go over to zoom and change this to 1.2 or maybe i don't know just zoom in into something you want to highlight so maybe let's say some something like this so if you play this here you go this is how it will look now for the final thing which is the highlight that we're talking about right here so in all of them you can see a highlight or a vignette for this just simply drag in a adjustment clip make sure this is covering all of your or whatever your composition is then go over to the open fx and from here if you scroll down you will get this vignette so just drag this in and the settings that i'm using for this is 0 0.729 so let's change the size to 0 0.729 and this one to 2.56 2.565 so somewhere around here so if we play this here you can see this is how it will look in all of them it will give a nice effect for you of course you can add other effects that you want to but this will give you an idea of how to create nice looking text highlights okay so one more thing that you can do is if you select your adjustment clip you can go over to the colors tab right here and you can just go ahead and change the offset a little bit so decrease this a little more depending on your article obviously so right here you will notice this is how it will look so this will give you a nice looking effect and of course you can play around with the color tab more to get a different kind of look for this effect so this was it for this video i hope you found this video useful and i will see you in the next one